welcome back to my channel so it's always a vlog i'm going to show you some sales i'm going to show you lots of other things and i'm thinking the car boot section of me going to the car boot to sell is going to be on this video too so watch out for that um i'm not going to be filming loads while i'm there because i'm hoping it's going to be really busy and i'm not going to have chance um but i'll film a bit we need to obviously get there, get set up. My brother will be picking me up early, so we'll get into that later anyway. But yeah, I've got a few sales to show you and some other things, so we'll get into it. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. Why not? Why not? <laughs> it's free. I'm not asking you to pay anything. Just hit that button and subscribe. And hit the bell if you want to know when I'm going to, well, when, when I'm going to update more videos or upload more videos. I can't even speak today. I do apologise. <sighs> I need to calm, be calm and collected. Yeah, so let's see what's happening. I have no idea at this point, so we'll get into it. I have some sales to show you. I mean, they aren't brilliant, but they're sales. Um, <laughs> I hope you're all making loads of sales and things are going well for you all. Um, these three things. One, I have sold within a few days of listing. The other two, I've had for the usual 84 years. It's been 84 years. I've had them over a year, definitely. Probably longer. Um... I mean, I don't even know where this came from. I don't think I bought this. I think it was given to me because I don't buy 10 key. Um, I think it might have been Rob's auntie that passed this down to me from um, his cousin. Anyway, that has gone for £7 plus per stage. And what I love about this sale is I've got a 50% off coupon on still because I'm trying to get rid of stock. And... The person that bought this, it was on for a tenner, £10, and they offered me 7 So they didn't use the 50% off voucher, which I thought they were going to do. Um, so yeah, they offered me 7 I've accepted. So £7 plus postage for that, and it was free. And um, this Bob Mackey jumper, this has gone for 13 75 I think it was, plus postage. They did use my 50% off coupon for that. And this is another reversible white stuff skirt. It's got like lizards on it and then like trees, I think. Um, yeah, it's really nice. Size 14. Um, haven't had this very long. These fly out. If you find reversible white stuff skirts, they do really well. Um, you don't get a lot of money for them, unfortunately, though. The last one I sold, I got £12 for. This one, I got £10 for. Probably my own fault though, because I put it on for 20 and they've used the 50% off coupon. So yeah, that is what I have sold. It's a bit bleak, but it's something. And as I've said on my previous video, well, on a previous video, um, I'm going to be doing a car boot sale soon. So I'll be getting rid of a lot of stuff and hopefully getting a load of money in. So we can go out and buy some decent stuff because we're going to be much more picky about what we buy. I think the house is getting that overrun. It just makes more sense for us to buy less but buy better, if you know what I mean. Anyway, you'll be coming on this journey with me if you stay subscribed. So you'll see it all, what's and all, and whether we have another plan change along the way. Who knows? <laughs> couple more to show you so these are obviously rob sales because they're men's clothing he sold this puma t-shirt it's a puma king retro vintage 90s old school rare t-shirt that has gone for 20 pound plus postage it is a size small and then he has sold this orvis gilet um, in an extra large, this was in the massive bundle we got in the Orvis bag, I believe. Um, this has gone for £30.38 plus postage. So I'm going to get those parceled up. I've done those over there, look. They're mine. going to get these done and then we're going to drop them off on the way out to see The Who tonight. So we're going to see UB40 and The Who. I'm so excited. 
So yeah, night off tonight and some fun to be had. <laughs> Me and Rob are severely hungover. If you want to see the footage of what we got up to last night, it's on my TikTok. Um, we went to see The Who um, and they were supported by UB40. It was amazing, but we're both ill. And I've just literally parceled up two items and not even showed you what I've sold. So I'm going to show you the parcels, tell you what it is, and then I'll put the pictures at the end to show you what I actually sold. Have sold some other things as well, but they're going to go on Monday because they can. <laughs> it was amazing. What a gig. Anyway, I'll show you what I've sold. Right, here it is. <laughs> this is a Wedgwood teapot. It has gone on my 50% off coupon for £22.49, I believe. Um, it was one we were going to take to the car boot as well. So I'm really pleased with that. It's gone on eBay. And this is an Our Generation doll, which is very apt, as soon as though we saw the hero last night. And they played that, and they weren't supposed to, so I was really excited, because it's my favourite Who song. Um, anyway, this doll, getting off subject, this doll has gone for £9 plus postage. Now, she doesn't have to go until Monday, but because she was right there on the side, and easy to parcel, I've sorted her out. <laughs> Honestly, it was such a great gig. Um, yeah, we're going to see Noel Gallagher as well at the end of August. I've decided that my TikTok is going to be the place that I put any videos. So um, I've got memories. I film a little bit while I'm there and then I enjoy the rest of the gig. That's always my role. I used to take too many pictures and do too many videos and not be in the moment. We were right at the front, the side, which is my favourite place to be because it's not too crowded, but you can see everything. And they were both fantastic. And what got me more than anything was UB40 did a cover of Prince's Purple Rain and it was amazing. So if you want to see those videos, head on over to my TikTok. It's Mrs England's Emporium. I don't know whether the link is on my channel, but the link to my TikTok is definitely on my Instagram and the link to my Instagram is on here. So yeah, you can find me by just typing in Mrs England's Emporium anywhere. Um, yeah, but it was amazing. But we're, we're ill today. That's why I forgot to show you those things. So I'm going to take pictures now and put them after this clip. So we've managed to get everything sorted and get out of the house. But well, yeah, we're feeling a bit rough. I think we're going to get chippy today for our lunch. <laughs> Soak up some alcohol. But yeah, um, the trolley is full. We are grateful for all the sales we've had. Things have picked up a lot. But like I say, we've got a 50% off sale on. So that's probably why. But yeah, happy. So off we go. No charity shops today though, peeps, I'm afraid. We just couldn't stomach it. <laughs> okay, so it's now Saturday. We are just getting ready to take my son to a party. He's got a birthday party to go to. It is supposed to be raining and thundering and lightning and the party is in the garden and there's a bouncy castle. So I'm a bit worried about that, but hey her Should be all right. <laughs> so tomorrow morning, I am going to the car boot with my brother and I am selling only. I'm not buying anything because I want to get rid of as much stuff as I can and I also don't want to leave my brother to sort everything out while I go look round. So it is just going to be me getting rid of stuff but I will document it and we'll see what happens. There won't be a lot of footage because I don't want this video to be bogged down with me selling stuff at the car boot but I will give you updates here and let you know how much I made at the end as well which is cool. So hopefully it's going to be a good one. Hopefully we're going to make loads of money and we're going to be talking about doing a few more. So we'll, you know, watch this space. We'll see how it goes. So tomorrow morning I'm getting picked up at 6am. So I'm going to get up at half past five. I'm going to sort everything out tonight so it's done. I'm going to get up at half past five and just get ready and then we're going. So fingers crossed it'll be a good one. I haven't sold at a car boot since I've been a reseller and I haven't sold a car boot in probably about eight nine years it's been a long time so it should be fun we'll see how it goes anyway stay tuned and you will see for yourself 
Right, so it is 10 to 6 on Sunday morning. It's an eye opener getting up at this time. Why is it when you need to get up early? You're waking up all the time. I think I worry I'm going to miss my alarm. I don't know what it is. Anyway, I'm just going to make my flask of coffee. It's not real coffee, it's decaf because I can't have caffeine. Well, a lot of caffeine. Um, and then uh, waiting for my brother to come and get me. The car is packed. We packed it yesterday. The house is really quiet because everybody's still asleep. So I'm going to go and try and sell a load of the stuff that's been stuck on my shop for ages or lower value items. See what I can get today. Wish me luck, guys. Stay tuned to see what happens. Right, we're at the car boot. This is my lovely brother, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> we are just getting set up. We've made a few sales already. Um, it's a bit chaotic. We're only, it's seven o'clock in the morning and we haven't even got half the stuff out, but everywhere is full at the moment. So I'll show you what we've done so far. So I've managed to get a load of stuff on a sheet down here. Those bags still need emptying, but the stall is looking pretty good. There's my bro doing his clothes rail. I've just um, rammed my clothes on the floor down there. But yeah, I'm gonna have a coffee soon. Hopefully make a lot of money. Fingers crossed. It looks like it's gonna be a good day anyway. I'll do an update soon. We've sold quite a bit, but we've still got loads left. I'm hoping it'll all go. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, Still got my lamp that I want 20 quid for, but that's going on back on eBay if it doesn't go here. <laughs> oh man, I'm absolutely boiling. We've just got back, um, got packed up, got sorted, came home. Um, it was okay. I got £67.20 I made. I know that doesn't sound like a massive amount, but it was okay. Actually, I made more than that. Hang on a minute. I was lying. I made £72.20, which isn't too bad. Basically, I took all of the crap that we haven't been able to sell, stuff that we bought in the beginning that we didn't really know what we are doing and we are winging it, <laughs> things that we got real cheap that's hung around, um, and some stuff from the house as well. We've still got a car full, so we're going to do another one soon, but I'm happy with that. It gives us a bit of money, and yeah, it's good. Happy days. My daughter also got £5 because I sold some of her things. So she's happy. No, £6 she got actually. So yeah, not bad at all. Pretty pleased with that. I'm shattered now though. So I will see you on the next bit when I'm more refreshed and feeling better. <laughs> yeah, I've been up a long time. It was very early this morning. I don't know that I could do this all the time. I think people that do car boots all the time are absolute heroes. So I've got some sales to show you. Um, this is still the day of the car boot that I did. I'm absolutely shattered, so I am not parceling these up tonight. But I thought I'd get the ones out that I can now, because I've sold a lot more than this, um, and just show you these things and get them ready for parceling in the morning. So I sold these on Etsy for... You'll have to forgive me because they were originally on for 25 for these and 20 for this and they got 30% off, but they're going to the USA. So I cleared £40 on these, including postage. So obviously I need to pay for the parcel out of that. Um, Etsy threatened me with account suspension for listing all of these lovely little biker boys. Um, so I've had to take them all down, unfortunately. Um, did try and sell them at the car boot today, but wasn't successful. So they are still in the car boot bundle. Um, so yeah, um, I've took them off eBay too, but I am going to post these. Um, so yeah, £40 including postage going to the USA. Um, yeah, so be careful what you put out there. Um, sometimes it can come across wrong according to Etsy and um, yeah they want you to take your purse down so you have to be really really careful. Um, these Adidas um, gazelles I think they are. These are what Claire gave me who is Rob's dad's partner and um, they have gone for £25 plus postage. This lovely Wittard of Chelsea mug 
um, that I bought not that long ago has gone for £6.50 plus postage. I'll show you these at the end. Um, this is a pair of, what is it, a pair of Kenneth Cole heels. They've gone for 15 No, they didn't. They went for £8.98, sorry, plus postage. These two plus size Barbies, they went for £10 plus postage, literally within a day of me listing them. This Kunda plastic domed carriage clock. No, it's not a carriage clock. What am I on about? It's a clock. Please, please forgive me, guys. I'm shattered. Anyway, that went for £25 plus postage. So that's the last of these clocks gone. These lovely um, wooden carved um, African candlesticks. They went for £25 plus postage. This shows you how good I am because I had these on for 70 Yes, I know, before you say anything. Um, <laughs> had them on for £70. When I comped them, when I bought them from the car bill, I paid £3 for them and I comped them. Someone had sold a pair that was very similar for £70. But, yeah, it was probably a stab in the dark to try and get that. So I ended up accepting an offer of 25 because I've got a 50% off coupon. It would have took them down to 35 anyway, so I was happy with that. Um, two packs of A-level math revision cards. These are my daughter's. She's just finished uh, doing her A-levels. They went for £11 and a penny. And in here are all the surplus dolls that I got out of the big bundle that I paid £50 for. Um, so these went on auction for £4.99 plus postage. These are the ones that are either damaged or I don't know what they are. Um, you know, just the miscellaneous dolls or they're just... You know, modern ones that don't go for a lot. Four ninety nine plus posted on those. So happy with that. Let me know how your sales have been going. I will show you the rest of them when I get round to getting them out tomorrow morning. I'll be parceling these up first, and then um, yeah, sorting out the postage to America for these. And yeah, I will show you those shoes as well after this clip. But yeah, I'm going to parcel these up in the morning, and then I will show you the rest of the stuff. So, yeah, let me know what you think to my sales. And if you think I'm balmy doing a 50% off sale, I've said so many times before, um, and I'll say it again, I price things high, and I hold my hand up, and I admit it, I do. And nine times out of ten, they don't sell. So I have to bring the prices down, or do a 50% off coupon, or do a sale. Um, but they do sell eventually, and I do think that sometimes it's worth to go high especially with something that you've either comped that's high like these or something that's unusual and if it doesn't sell you can bring your price down it's no biggie um want to give a shout out to cam as well who i saw at the car boot today it was lovely to see you and chat to you as always i hope everything picks up for you um ebay is terrible at the minute we had a real long conversation about it but yeah We've just got to keep going, haven't we? Pushing on, keep going and keep getting those sales in the best we can. Vinted has gone dead again as well, I will add. And uh, yeah, Etsy, few and far between with sales, but they're all right. I'm not going to grumble. I'm quite happy I've got that there as my backup. Right, I'm going through, the, through these a few at a time because I've got quite a lot and I won't be able to remember how much they all went for. Um, this lamp, um, this was one that I bought by mistake. I think we all remember it. I think it's a B&M lamp. Um, it's a nice one. It's gone for £9 plus postage, so not too bad. Um, got more than my money back. These two Le Crucier Ramekin dishes have gone for £18 plus postage. They were given to us by Lisa, so thank you, my darling. These earrings have gone for £3 plus postage to the person that bought the candlesticks. Um, this little um, Gonzo from, not Gonzo, Gerber, sorry, from Fraggle Rock. I bought him ages ago from York and we went to see my daughter. Um, he's gone for £16 plus postage. These two Polly Pocket compacts have gone for around £8 plus postage. And these dolls, I am not going to bother with anymore. I will always comp them just in case it's something good. But I've sold these three for around £9 plus postage. So not really worth my time. Um, I will have paid more than that for them, I will say as well. So I'll be out of pocket here. But overall, pretty good. Um, and I will show you 
some more stuff next so bear with right here's some more stuff to show you so these awful green satin boots they've gone for eight pound fifty plus postage um yeah the cost of pounds are not too bad they are horrendous I'm, i don't know whether anyone would want to wear these or whether they're going for fancy dress i have no idea um this karen millen coat I got this a while ago and it's got stains on it. I did decide to sell it with the stains. I haven't got the stains out of it. And it's still gone for £25 plus postage. So really happy with that. This new with tags, Joe Brown's dress um, has gone for £18 plus postage. All of these on eBay, I will add. Um, a white stuff top, size 12 with the stars on it. That's gone for £8 plus postage. This Anna Shoals um, for Simply B dress has gone for around £8 plus postage. And this Whistles dress, found the label for you, there it is. This has gone for £12.50 plus postage. So yeah, not bad for clothes today and easier to pack up than the rest of the stuff I've had to do. So happy with that. Let me know how your sales are going. I will show you Rob's shortly. It's quite a morning. It's been crazy. School has rang and we need to take Dexter in some Bonjella because he's hurt his lip. Um, he hurt it a while ago now and um, it's still cut so he can't eat his dinner. And the label printer wasn't working so absolute nightmare. Um, so um, because of everything that's gone on this morning I completely forgot to show you what Rob has sold. So when we get home I'm going to show you on the iPad. I'm going to quickly show you look these are the parcels and yeah it's definitely a crazy monday morning where we've got our shopping coming between one and five i've got a friend popping to see me this afternoon and we're gonna go to square and go to the charity shop that i still want to go to <laughs> um that is decent priced and that i can actually get stuff from but we're gonna do that tomorrow now because monday has absolutely killed me <laughs> one of them things I suppose isn't it it's what Mondays do to you sometimes the label printer keeps getting stuck I don't know what's wrong with it if anyone's got any ideas let me know um I put new labels in but they're the same labels that I've had before um UPS labels same ones but for some reason it keeps getting stuck um all the trouble started when I did my labels this morning and I ran out of labels so I had to put more labels into the machine and yeah, it's been getting stuck. It went mad and printed out one label about 16 times without me realising. So I tried to sort it out and it is kind of printing, but it's not the best. So I need to sort that out now. Making sure my son's all right at school. Rob's gone to sort that. And then we're going to go drop all these off. Post office and every. And then I need to go home and parcel up a lamp that I could not find a box big enough for. So that has stayed at home for now. <laughs> Oh, I hate Mondays, hate them, always goes mental. Because I did the car boot yesterday, I'm just so behind, so I just feel like I'm just trying to catch myself up. Does any of you feel like that ever? Man, <laughs> I'm a sweaty mess. <laughs> right, so I said I'd show you Rob's sales because I completely forgot. He sold these Timberland shoes slash trainers, size 7.5 UK in a wide fit. These have gone for £20 plus postage. Then he sold these men's top man trousers in a red tartan check, 32 waist, 30 leg. These have gone for £34 plus postage. Then we've got this nice 2XL NFL t-shirt, um, Dolphins National Football League, Miami Dolphins. This has gone for £16 plus postage. Then we've got this WP by Weatherproof Men's Jacket in a double XL. This was um, really nice in like an olive green slash brown mole skin. Um, that's gone for £17.99 plus postage. Sounded like I was going to say more stuff there. I think I thought there was another one, but I'd already told you about the ramekins, the Le Crucier ones. We have had a really, really busy weekend of sales. Today has been, yeah, a stressful Monday. Getting all the parcels done. I'm still tired from the car boot. I've been falling asleep on the sofa. Not good. Um, yeah, but all the parcels have been done except this one down here, this um, lamp. And I will show you any other sales on the next video. So thank you so much, all of you, for watching. Take care, be kind, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta!